Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. And good evening, everyone. We've got another hurricane to talk about this one in the Pacific. I'll show you that in just a second. Live picture here at River West Festival Park. The cleanup continues from Tulsa's great raft race earlier today. What a great day to be in the water or on the water with the temperatures in the mid to upper 90s around the area. Coming up this week, we've got warm summer like nights, hot and humid till Thursday when a cold front arrives. And we've got scattered showers and thunderstorms in the week at the end of the week, and we might have an impact from Hurricane Newton, and I'll explain in just a second how that will set up. Back to school tomorrow, it's more short sleeve weather, 75 warm and humid in the morning with plenty of sunshine. Okay, this is Ocean City, Maryland. I'm going to show you a time lapse and the impact of Hermine as it was spinning off the coast. You can see it's a rather gray day. They started off with temperatures in the 50s this morning and staying cloudy all day long. Probably didn't warm up much more than about 70 to 75 right along uh, Maryland's eastern shore. So a cloudy day thanks to Hermine. And we can see it's still spinning out here to the east coast. And then off here near just south of the Baja of California, this is a new hurricane. And this is going to be Newton and it's going to be moving to the north. And watch as we put these both into motion. Hermine will move up toward uh, Boston and New York. And then Newton moves up the Baja of California and it moves into the southwestern part of the United States as uh, Hermine just kind of falls apart now off the East Coast. So watch the remnants now of Newton as it moves up across Arizona and moves into New Mexico. Now this moisture could make it all the way into Kansas and Oklahoma and interact with this front as it drops to the south Friday into Saturday. If that happens, if that moisture can make it over here and doesn't get hung up, then we'd be looking at some pretty heavy rainfall with the potential for heavy rainfall Friday into Saturday morning. Pictures from our Labor Day weekend around Green Country. Philip Templeman from Grand Lake with a fantastic picture there. Robert Livesay sharing from Woodard Hollow in Grand Lake. Looks like a lot of folks out on the boats and having fun and a gorgeous sunset last night. Also from RC Livesay. High temperature today at Tulsa, 95 unofficially. We'll update that at 6 o'clock. 70, the morning low, 88 and 67 are the averages. 107, the record high back in 1913. Puffy cumulus clouds right now. And in Tulsa, it's 95 degrees. Relative humidity 46%. Look at this dew point 71. So it's rather on the humid side with south winds at 16 miles an hour. La Fortune Park, hot day for golf today. 94 degrees right now in Midtown Tulsa. 89, sunny, hot, and breezy. Uh, 7 p.m. temperature. And as the sun is setting, it'll feel like midsummer. 85 instead of early September. And then overnight tonight, clear and warm 75 with a south wind at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Bartlesville drops to 70 tonight. Priors down to 73 with light southerly winds in our northern zones and clear skies. We'll also have clear uh, skies in our central zone. 71 at Tahlequah, 73 at Wagoner. South winds, though, a little stronger at 10 miles an hour. And south of Interstate 40, we'll look for temperatures in the lower 70s. Poto down to 72. Then during the day tomorrow, we'll start off here in the morning with temperatures in the 60s and then warm to around 93 tomorrow afternoon. Plenty of sunshine and it will be another hot day. 95 in Talala tomorrow. South winds 10 to 15 miles an hour prior 95 degrees and then look for Muskogee 93, Okmulgee 95, Sepulpa up to 95 and a south wind at 10 to 20 miles an hour and south of Interstate 40. Temperatures generally in the low to mid 90s with that south wind sustained at 10 miles an hour. Seven day forecast. More heat coming our way again on Wednesday, 96 degrees, then 93 on Thursday with a 30% chance for showers and thunderstorms showing up late in the day. 79 Thursday morning, 75 Friday morning, a 60% chance for rain and thunder Friday, and it could impact high school football Friday night. So it looks like rain is certain, but the timing could change just a little bit as we go later into the week. It appears right now that that rain will get out of here fairly early on Saturday. We'll have cooler weather Saturday afternoon, lower humidity coming back in, and a great weekend again, 85 Saturday afternoon, 82 Sunday afternoon with a morning low Sunday morning around 58 degrees. Coming up at 6, we'll talk about just how much rain we could see in the next seven days. All right, thank you, Brad.